We have a patient who is 40 years old and uh, having a massive subarachnoid hemorrhage, brain hemorrhage. And this we investigated and found that he is having an aneurysm inside the brain. Aneurysm means the blood vessel which is there inside the brain in one part has become swollen, dilated like a balloon and it has ruptured. Generally blood vessel in the brain will have three different layers. Because of some reason, one area of the blood vessel has become weak and it has become dilated and swollen, which is called an aneurysm. Okosari aneurysm rupture, I think, generally, 30 to 40 percent of the people, they cannot reach the hospital. It is very dangerous. And next, 60 to 70 percent of people who can reach the hospital with an aneurysm bleed, they run a risk of re-bleed of aneurysm in the next 21 days. Second time brain aneurysm rupture, I put the 99% death type of it. That's why it is very dangerous. It is called the bomb in the brain. So this is called an aneurysm. Rundu Rakar treatment on the aneurysm ki. There are two types of treatment. One is coiling and one is clipping. So brain open chassis, aneurysm fine chassis, clip pattern ki surgically that is called clipping. More advanced technique is without opening the brain from the groin, we can puncture and go inside, find the aneurysm and do the coiling or endovascular method like prodiversum, intracycular or extracycular prodiversum, all those methods are there. This is becoming very common nowadays, aneurysm. I have treated 28 year old with aneurysm, two of them this month. So it's becoming very, very common. This symptom, how do we know that there is a brain aneurysm rupture? Patient will typically complain that he is having the worst headache of his life. Sudden severe headache or thunderclap headache is a sign that there is an aneurysm in the brain which is ruptured. So this both the 28 year old uh, they are recovering very well. Or one I have operated in care hospital at Bhubaneswar. The other one I have operated here in Medicover. The 28 year old in Medicover was a CT technician with Medicover hospital itself whom we have treated and discharged in a very stable condition. The guy in care hospital whom I have treated the 28 year old rupture aneurysm has recovered very well, still in the hospital and getting discharged in a weak time. Now why I am telling, it is becoming common in younger population to have brain aneurysm. So one has to be careful about this kind of symptom, visual symptom, sudden severe headache, or all consciousness should be investigated for possibility of an mm -hmm. This is a 48 year old. Let's look at the angiogram. Can you the angiogram Can you pull the angiogram Can you pull the angiogram Can So this is the aneurysm here for a patient today who is a 48 year man. Can you just rotate it? So this is the brain blood supply on the left side which is ACA and MCA dividing into. This is the MCA trifurcation. And this is a dissecting aneurysm. You can see that balloon like swelling. This is a 3D rotational angiogram we have. Go to the other side. Yeah. Move. Yeah. You can see that. It's a dissected aneurysm. Multiple vessels are coming out of it. It's a very complex situation. We are going to do a flow diversion today live. Thank you. So today, Basant is helping us with our visitor. Parvati is assisting us. And with Prasad and Gauri. Prasad is our chief technologist. Who will be helping us navigate through? So, this is a little tortuous for a 40 year. So, we have taken up the distal access system. We do not push the terrible wire to stop. So this whole thing is done from a single puncture in the groin here. No cutting or stitching on the head. So from this puncture we will try to do the procedure. Throw the out. Table touch. Table down. Right. So this is 
is basically a high tech curve that works system which has more than to help us understand the different anatomy. So now we will take a micro catheter which will go, we will try to cross the dimension and we will uh, take the four angle to the side dimension and uh, place it from the one of the M2, the center one, the dominant one and come across to the dimension and uh, put it to the M1. So M2, two dimension into M1 is our idea. This is the post seventeen catheter synchro. So basically, <coughs> yeah, synchro select. Cool. All right. So basically, flow diverters are stents with the close mess. When we place it across the aneurysm, the flow into the aneurysm will reduce. However, the dominant branch coming from the side will continue to fill because of the demand distally. Once there is a demand distally, the branches will continue to flow, but the aneurysm will slow down and thrombos over the time. So we have given to Brillanta and Monikospin, they are blood thinner, almost like an hour back. And, uh, can I have a light here? So we have taken a cat file inside the Neuromax here because uh, it's a doctor's anatomy. We want to navigate this study as much as possible so that we get a stable catheter position. I want to navigate my cat file over. Access distal is a very important idea. You see, our challenge is this. Sometimes you just have to allow the uh, humidity to flow a little bit. And you can see this cat file has moved in the direction that we want it. If you see this, this kind of loop will definitely be a uh, challenge, especially if when you want to navigate a stick or flow mm -hmm. diameter. Thank you. So the flow diameters are basically the recent development in treatment of aneurysm, which has magma, which has really helped us to
to try to go a little this way. So that is coming to So here I will gently see whether I can. about table max man table right so you can see my access which has been very tortuous uh, especially for a 40 year man uh, I would say that this is more than expected tortuous so we have taken a very distal position, top, roadmap on that. So we will take the device now. Then we have the product today, we are using the Sense Vista baby. So, <coughs> so this is our mini box. We are taking a, we are choosing a 2.75 to 25. So we used to have a uh, real hard time uh, with three such handles only for for Agrotuff. We will have to do a uh, wise painting and coil. So we have taken the flow diver inside and we allow the lubrication where the fluid has to come from the back end of uh, the sleeve on which uh, the flow diver is placed. And there are two types of flow divers are available. One is basically we put up uh, this stand in front of the neck of the aneurysm. The other one is kind of intracycular flow diversion, uh, like a contour or a web where we put it inside the uh, aneurysm and which prevents uh, the fall into the aneurysm. So this is a extracycular intraluminal flow diversion. So this is a close network of wires, uh, in particular type of stent, which will prevent the blood to pass. So immediate stagnation or occlusion of the aneurysm is not expected, not demanded. We want it to slowly uh, the blood into the aneurysm to uh, reduce and slow thrombosis which happens so that the required vessels will remain open how the aneurysm will be done.
So we are uh, taking the flow diverter into our micro catheter, which is inside uh, the cat pipe, which is inside the neuromax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Better roadmap on this. So I'm looking simultaneously at the flow. You can see that the, the flow diverter has started bulging. So I will not push it further, but I will rather try to it gently without much pressure so we are able to control here I will push it okay let's uh, look at it manual and do it so here again I will push So now I will try to take my cat file a little bit back for you to hold situation. For the ground. So I'm trying to hold the cat file.
try to take a slack. So let's look it up. <coughs> a little bit of basis. See this, the entire product of your very beautiful. See this, very nice. That's the fun should be. And once it is done, basically, once the deployment is done, completed, what we will do is we will try to take our micro catheter inside. We will do a gentle massage. So two and two, we can go in the capital, but we just put the whole system out. So it's a beautiful deployment of what I was done. Now we will see the results. So it's always a good idea to play around a little bit, stay there, have some patience, not in a hurry to deploy. <coughs> Take your people your time. Excellent. So you could uh, do a perfect wrap. Okay. Go on ahead. Ready? Right, so we saw how we did a flow diagnostic embolization for a dissecting left MCA triforcasin aneurysm. This was a complex situation because the vessels were coming out, it's a young man, and, uh, but not to his uh, access. So we did a flow diagnostic embolization and uh, everything was perfect. And fine, thank you for joining us. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Namaskar.